in this lecture we are going to look into multiple tracking all right so this is basically a feature of viewphoria where you can uh, track multiple markers at the same time all right it's it's a uh, this one is really useful whenever you are making uh, an ar book all right you, whenever you are making games so these this feature uh, helps a lot all right like for example if you are going to make an ar pokemon game right so with within one mobile there will be one uh, there will be two cards and you would be scanning those cards and make uh, and two pokemons would appear and you would make those two pokemons fight each other all right so multiple uh, market tracking helps a lot in many ways all right and in today's today's lecture only i'm going to show you all right so first of all uh, i want you to set up your viewphoria account your sdks all right you already know how to do that i have shown you in my previous video so uh, if you, if you are confused you can watch it watch that particular portion again and uh, if you have any doubt you can comment it down in the comment section all right so without any further delay let's get started the very first thing you have to do is click on this main camera and delete it all right because of course we don't want the main camera and uh, one more thing i would like to do is to stack up uh, stack this game window uh, to the side all right to the side of my scene window so that i can uh, see whatever thing is happening all right so yeah so just wait a few seconds all right cool so here you can see that it is being written no cameras rendering that's because we don't have any camera so now we do, what you have to do is click on hierarchy uh, go click on viewphoria engine and select ar camera all right uh, so you can keep it like this or you can stack it up uh, on top of directional light i prefer stacking up on uh, directional light it feels better actually looks good actually so that's why it's just a personal preference all right and now what you have to do is uh, click on i means right click then again uh, click on image target all right select a marker right from here click uh, in the image target behavior click on from database and uh, select the database my for uh, for my uh, case the database is first ar app all right and the marker i'll be using for this is m1 and uh, let's name the image target as m1 all right cause i'm using uh, the m1 marker all right so yeah so here we got our very first marker all right i would be placing the 3d models later on first let's uh, set up our second marker so again right click click on viewphoria engine click on image target all right then again name it m2 all right so then again uh, in the inspector window only you will get uh, type select it from database then select the database that is first ar app in my case and uh, take this uh, m2 marker that i have all right so you can uh, you will get the marker what you have named after all right so make sure you do that now we have two markers in in place now the problem with that is if we if we try to show one marker all right if we try to show one marker at a time then uh, means uh, let's let's uh, say for an example all right uh, i'm using this app all right and now i want to show uh, that total how many means i i'm trying to uh, means track both the markers at the same time all right so i'm trying to do that and uh, of course that wouldn't work all right so to fi uh, to figure out uh, this problem uh, we have a solution so all right so currently the problem we are facing is uh, it will only track one marker at a time all right but we want to track both the markers at a time all right so we are going we are going to go to that feature but first of all let's uh, set up our 3d models all right so right click in, uh, not right click uh, i i already have the 3d models all right i have the uh, i have one dinosaur 3d model so i'm just going to import it right in here all right uh, let me reset its uh, transform all right so here we uh, actually got uh, the dinosaur i know it doesn't looks that good uh, i just uh, choose one random from sketchfab uh, these are obj's uh, and uh, believe me i don't uh, want you to like use obj files all right i, I want you to use uh, gltf files because they have better quality better texture quality and all those things all right uh, that's that's the major reason but uh, for the sake of this tutorial and to make things work first fast so i go, go 
got to go for uh, this obj module all right now there are some materials all right so i will i will create the materials it's uh, it's pretty simple here you can see there are multiple materials in here albedo so what you can do is uh, right click in the texture section and create a dinosaur material so here i create a dinosaur material now uh, try to find where is uh, exactly the means this is the normal map right this is uh, the albedo one all right yeah so i found the albedo one drag and drop it in uh, here all right and drag this on top of this now uh, this this one looks uh, looks pretty good all right so now uh, i need i also need to add the normal map so that it uh, gives a better look all right so yeah it's it's uh, looking really really great so i uh, uh, currently i've click on fix now because it is not being marked as a normal map so what uh, the, what fi this fixing process would do is it will uh, fix that uh, uh, texture to a normal map all right so just just wait for a few seconds and uh, this process would be done all right now let's let's see uh, we have ambient occlusion we have metallic texture so uh, let's apply the metallic texture first all right so here we got the metallic texture but uh, actually let's remove the smoothness all right uh, then here we have the roughness all right uh, so and uh, then where is it yeah this is another albedo one this is uh, maybe for the eye so i'm not going to go into that much so uh, for now this this thing looks good all right so just uh, uh, as our model is ready so what you have to do is uh, put this model under the hood of m1 that is make it a game, game object of m1 marker all right so for now our this this model is set up now again we have another uh, model that is of a cake i uh, like i was thinking to take another dinosaur model but uh, then i thought let's let's take a cake how many dinosaurs would be there right uh, so now i need to bring the scale up all right so i'm going to make it 50 uh 50 sorry 50 and uh, here goes another 50 all right so this this seems uh, pretty big um so i would scale it down a bit so uh, don't worry okay yeah, this this uh, this thing looks good all right okay cool now I wanted to save this, all right. Uh, save this and uh, simply drag and drop this inside the M2, all right. So, yeah. So now, uh, here, uh, one thing we would be seeing is, all right, one problem we would be seeing is that whenever, all right, whenever we are going to like play uh, this scene, what would happen is uh, we only one marker will be detected, all right. If we give, if we feed it two markers, all right then it will only detect one of it because uh, we haven't set up uh, the setting that is needed right so that's what we have to do uh, click on ar camera all right then uh, click on open view for your configuration all right so here you can see here are multiple options and uh, the one that would be uh, our preference is that this one maximum si uh, simultaneous tracked images all right so and there's another one maximum si uh, simultaneous tracked object so basically the the first of all let me tell you what does this two does basically the, uh, currently you can see uh, one is written there all right and that means only one marker or only one object would be detected all right at a time so what we have to do is uh, we have to increase it to how many uh, like to how to as many as means as many numbers as we want all right like let's say if we want uh, our app to uh, detect four markers at a single time right so we can uh, write it four in there all right or if we want it to track four objects at one time then we can write uh, four in the object section but for 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 this course we are only uh, like we aren't uh, exploring the tracked objects portion all right so we are going to explore the maximum simultaneous tracked images so what you can do is currently it is one just simply change it to two all right so that's how it's uh, it's going to work all right so it's pretty simple as that there's nothing 
much to like uh, exactly scare about all right but yeah this is uh this is it right see uh the thing that i would like to say is whenever all right uh generally generally uh whenever we actually like create ar books we do, don't usually uh keep mac means means we don't usually track two to three images at one time we just track one images at a time all right and that's what i would recommend you to track one images at a time because then that would make it more efficient all right or else uh the the ui might get cluttery if you if you don't manage it in that way all right and that gets a bit more complicated so i always recommend people to uh like for ar books all right for specifically ar books try to use only one marker uh, means set the maximum sample tenors tracked images to one because at that point uh, you guys will want uh, to exactly use all right to exactly use one marker at a time all right so <clears throat> let me show you all right let me show you um, just just see this now all right so we have uh, we are able to just uh, yeah we got it so we are able to see that uh, at at a, at a single time all right we are able to detect two markers all right so that is what how it works all right so i i would recommend you to try uh, play with this this features feature more all right so that uh, you explore more new things all right uh, so yeah that that's it so that's it for today's lecture all right so see you in the next lecture thank you